Right, <clears throat> so what I've done, I've been moving paint around just with a damp brush. So all these reflections here, I've been just softening off with a damp brush. And I've really softened them off. Reflections are softer than what's above. Distant stuff, I've softened off more than the closer stuff. And I'll just show you again how I've done it. So let's take this here. This to me, don't look very realistic. If you like that look, keep it. This is just how I do it. You, everyone's gonna have their own style. Nothing wrong with it now nah, like that, but I like to get more realism by doing this, softening edges. I think it just looks better to me. Like I say, it's your painting. You, you'll have your, you'll develop your own style as you practice. There might be people watching this that's better than me already. I did at it like. <laughs> no, there's a lot of people miles better than me. Don't worry about that. See already, look, it's looking a bit more realistic. If you get carried away and find you've took too much out, it's easy, just put a bit back in. And then if you find you've put too much in, take a bit back out again and just keep going until you get to a point where you think, ah, niceness, niceness. And you, then you know you're sorted. Well, just softening in. And soften some of this as well if you want. It's up, it's up to that. I'm just showing you the techniques so you can use them. So if you've got too hard an edge, this is a good little technique. And like I've done that all, this bit here, look, this bit here, these bit, that bit I haven't done yet, but I'll be doing it. So I mean, it's starting to look better. And I'll keep going, I'll, I'll take a bit of that. I might let that dry, put a few dots back in, let that dry, and then soften them dots back in again and just keep going. Like I say, I think I said earlier, this is it more of a studio type painting. If you're out in countryside, you wouldn't mess about like this. You'd just whack it in, you'd be done. You could bring it home. You could whack it in, bring it home, and then do this to it if you wanted. Some people can't be bothered to mess about like this. You just want a pure, fast, loose painting and leave it. No, there's no wrong with that either. Just I quite enjoy pushing paint around and just sitting back and then a lot quite enjoy it. So it's what you enjoy. That's what it's all about, isn't it? It's an hobby, isn't it? Unless you're a professional, then it's about selling stuff. If you're a professional, it's about what sells, isn't it? It doesn't matter if you enjoy it, you've got to sell it. I don't know what sells. Don't, don't sell them. Stick them on the wall. Look, look at that. Nice. Nice. Soften some bits in there. I'm not going to get too carried away because I can sit back and I look. See, that might easily be too soft. But I've softened it because I've come up softened right out into there. I've not softened these bits yet, but I'm going to be doing. Let's do a bit there. Soften a bit in there. Just to show, just to show that. You don't have to soften it all. This bit here, all these trees here, will be softer than these here. So these are closer, so you see more leaves. That's pro. That looks, see how much nicer that looks? I've just softened a little bit of it. So I'll go in, I'll carry on, I'll soften that. I'll probably soften that edge there, around there. Like I said, I've done all water. I've done quite a bit in here. And that, that's the technique. So you don't have to watch me do it for an hour. That's the technique. That's how you do it. Eat it!